A five-year prison sentence for the cousin of a disgraced former Baltimore City police detective who admitted to committing robberies with him. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the federal courthouse with the very latest development in the gun trace task force scandal. Mike? Jessica, federal guidelines called for about nine years in prison in this particular case. The judge went way below that. Uh, this is just one of about a dozen sentences that Judge Catherine Blake will be handing down in the coming months. A federal judge handed down the first prison sentence in the Baltimore City Police Gun Trace Task Force scandal, and it was a family affair. Everything's up here. Five years behind bars for David Rahim, the cousin of disgraced former detective Jamel Rayam, who committed robberies with him and split the cash. $20,000 in one case and more than 50 grand in two robberies a decade ago. We and the FBI, you know, follow the facts where they lead us. Prosecutors recently so, talked to WJZ um, about these cases. Because these the defendants were police officers, they were that much more savvy and aware of, of you know, surveillance techniques, wiretaps, things of that nature. This is Rahim's plea agreement. Prosecutors say then Detective Rayam supplied him and a friend with police tactical vests. Then Rayam was the lookout while they disabled a couple's security system and held them at gunpoint while taking their cash. The victims owned a bird feed store on Patapsco Avenue and reportedly provided a statement to Internal Affairs who never contacted them again. It was the second time Detective Rayam slipped through the cracks. Rayam was disciplined after a police investigation caught him lying about his involvement in a robbery with another officer in 2009, but was later promoted and put on the elite gun unit. First Detective Rayam, he pulled out the handgun and the cocaine. His cousin Rahim's five-year sentence was almost half what federal guidelines called for. Rahim must also provide restitution to the victims. And another new development in these cases, the city solicitor's office and city state's attorney's office announced a new policy where officers must self-report their internal affairs misconduct records to prosecutors in a bid to stop corrupt officers. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Sentencing for another accomplice in these robberies, Thomas Finnegan, was supposed to happen today, but was postponed.